so when you get your supplies, you'll get a square piece of paper. You need a ruler and a pencil. And we're going to be taking this corner to this corner and we're gonna be drawing a line. Then we're gonna do the same thing from this very tip to this tip and we're gonna draw a line with our ruler. Then we're gonna draw a line between the center where the dot is gonna be in the middle and then the center in this direction. So we're gonna make like a star, um, but we're doing it precisely. We're gonna use our ruler to measure. So I'm going from this corner to this corner. I wanna make sure my I'm aligning this corner, the very tip of my paper to this side and the very tip. So I'm moving my ruler to those spots. I'm gonna have my pencil upright and I'm gonna draw a line all the way down. I'm gonna darken mine, but I want you to start light until you get it right with your own paper. So there's one. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, drawing two diagonal lines that crisscross in the middle from each other. So we're finding the center point of our paper to create a radial design. Radial means going around from a center point. Radial things include the sun, a flower, a snowflake. So here's my dot or my center point. It's starting to show up. So the center point is where the two lines intersect and that's where the dot is. That's our radius. So now I'm gonna take my ruler. I'm gonna make sure it's straight on this side and I'm gonna move it over. Make sure to draw a straight line. I can look at this edge and if it's like this, I know that that's not gonna be a straight line. If it's like this, it's also not gonna be a straight line. So I wanna make sure to line it up and get it straight and even. With my center point, there's my dot right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the line up and down to cross through the center of my drawing. Um, and now, same thing, lining up my ruler with that center point making sure that this looks like a good line on the bottom and that it's a straight line. So that's looking good. I'm gonna draw my line through there and good. Everything's going through my center point. So now what I'm gonna do is take my silver piece. This is gonna be the mirror for our Mexican mosaic design. We're gonna go ahead and um, what we could do is open that up so you want to peel it back it's sticky on the other side so you really want to do your best to center that in the middle so I'm going to go ahead and stick that down and if you are not sure if you're like oh I'm not sure how to get the middle there um, just do your best and we could also draw a point and we want to make sure that they line up so here is the mirror in there, and that's reflecting. And now what we're gonna do is start our design. Whatever I do here, I'm gonna repeat here, 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 here. Eight times we're repeating our designs, right? So if I want to do something like, um, triangles, right? I've got three, one tall one in the middle and two small ones, so I'm gonna repeat that small one, a tall one, a small one. Small, tall, small. And I'm gonna keep doing that around my paper. Notice how I turn my paper as I go to the next thing. Suns are pretty popular in Mexican art. Um, they're a life giver, right? They give us life because they give us light. They give us heat. There's a lot of things, right? The sun. Okay, if there's anything I feel like I should fix, I can do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and keep drawing from what I'm inspired to do. I can look at the designs that I have at my table and I can see what inspires me to use. If there's shapes that you want to use that you truly love and enjoy, then you can do that as well. Yeah. 
if you make a mistake, erase and fix it. Get it to a place where you're like, yeah, that looks better, that feels better. Don't just skip over it because you want to fix it before you start tracing everything with Sharpie to give it a nice outline and also just, um, just a way to get it um, in a better place. You can use a compass if you'd like to draw a large circle because a lot of mosaics tend to have circles. I'm going to go ahead and draw a curved and rounded shape here. Notice how everything I do, I turn my paper so that way I'm, it's just easier for me to draw that way when I turn it and then I connect it. So there's that. It makes it easier for me to turn my paper and then it allows me to be able to do the same thing on the other side a little more easily. Here, my paper kind of goes off a little bit so I can continue the mosaic or the design out there and that's okay. I don't have to have everything on the mosaic, especially if it's going off the page, but something I noticed is this is a little uneven and I don't like that, so I wanna fix it. I wanna fix it so it gets a little better. Sometimes we gotta try things a couple times until we're satisfied with it. Yep, that's better. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes I say draw it light until you get it right. That way um, you can always erase it and then get it done in a better way. Draw light until you get it right. You can always press harder later. But if you're practicing something for the first time, it's good to, you know, give it time to get it right and practice it. I'm bringing in some shapes and lines I love using in my art. Just about done here, so I'm gonna grab my Sharpie. I feel like there might be another shape I wanna put out here. take my Sharpie. And if there's anything else I want to add later, I totally can. But for now, this is what I've got. And I'll just begin to trace over the designs I've created slowly. Taking my time to stay along the lines that I drew the first time. doing this I'll continue until I've got my whole design including these lines that I drew with my ruler through and then I can just create my designs Mm 
Now, as I turn my paper, I'm kind of editing some things. Like I'm not tracing right on top of some of these things because I realize oh, I want to fix it. So if I want to fix it as I'm going along, I can. I want to make it better. Okay. So you're going to keep tracing the whole thing. And then you're going to pick a color scheme, maybe like five colors that you're going to use in your whole mosaic tile. If there's some places you're like, oh, I want to add a couple more shapes, like maybe I'll do some triangles in between here. I like that idea. You want to work it until it looks 